All right, hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike. Welcome back to Below Average Blogger. First off, very, very sorry I've been gone so long. I had so many things going on in my personal life. Uh, we sold our house. Um, we've been traveling full time for a couple of months. Um, I had a death in the family. So everything is all good now, but there was lots of moving pieces, lots of logistics going on. I was still running the website, still doing voiceover on Fiverr. Um, and things are finally coming back to normalcy for me. We're getting ready to head back out on the road. Um, things have been a lot of fun. They've been very busy. Um, but we're back. We're at it. I'm going to give you guys a quick update on my income reports for both August and September of 2021. Things are still going very well. However, I am seeing a slight decline in traffic on the grilling website. I think that's expected being a seasonal niche as it is. However, I'm going to run through all the numbers, all the analytics, everything you guys want to know. Oh, and also I have this new iPhone 13 pro um, with cinematic mode. I'm filming it right now. I don't know how, I don't know if this is like a, I don't know, I don't know what it's doing, but um, if it looks more cinematic, let me know. If not, um, probably just a waste of an upgrade for an iPhone, but hey, we did it. So, all right. So August, 2021, this was last month of summer. For most people, kids go back to school in August. Things start to wind down as far as summer activities. And my biggest site is a grilling and outdoor cooking niche. So I saw, I started to see the decline in uh, August. It continued in September but we still managed to hit that 40,000 page views. So things are not bad, but they definitely did level out and kind of and kind of depress a little bit. Um, but the money was still good and I'll jump right into it right now. All right, so camp, my, my number one site, my first site I started was my camping website. It was launched in June of 2020, so just over one year old. It's monetized through Ezoic ads and through Amazon affiliate, along with some other affiliate programs and Avant link. Um, the traffic it saw in August was 3,561. Site number two, which is my dog specific breed website. Um, it is was launched in September of 2020, so just hit 12 months old. And in the month of August, so it was actually 11 months in August, the month of August, it saw 4,192, which was a jump by over 3,000. All of a sudden, the dog-specific website is just starting to kind of do its hockey stick growth. I've added a lot of content to it in the last two months, and I'm really excited to see how it's doing this time next year. But every single day, it's growing. It's starting to earn over $100 a month in ads. It's starting to earn over you know, $50 a month in Amazon. So this dog website's becoming a $150 a month website and growing actively as we speak. All right, so my big site, my main site, which is my outdoor grilling um, website, it has, it saw 47,752 visitors, which was a decline of 2,423. Like I said, I believe that's seasonal. I look at a lot of metrics on this as far as my average position, impressions. Things still look good as far as, I'm not falling in the rankings. I'm not losing um, snippets or spots as far as I know. It looks like there was just a decrease in, in searches for things related to this specific grill that I'm uh, blogging about. If you pull up Google Trends for this specific keyword of the type of grill that I, I use, you'll see basically from March up until August, there's a big spike. It depresses August, September, October, September, October, November. And then you will see in December, there's a big spike for the last three years straight. So I believe, and that's why if you guys follow my channel, you know, I got my first big spike in December this past year and I didn't really know what was going on. Well, looking at Google trends, that's a common trend for this grilling site. So I'm really looking forward to quarter four numbers, um, the grilling site getting another spike in December. And when I look at the five-year Google trends on my seed keywords, it's actually, although there's spikes, it's spiking up every year over the last five years. So I'm excited to see where this goes. It is going to level out at some point. Um, I'm now up to around 110 articles on it and growing. I have a lot on deck from Passion Post. I just got back, which by the way, I'm going to put a link down for Passion Post down below. Jeff from Passive Income Unlocked got me on the Passion Post. They do an incredible job. I'll give them an article. I'll give them some limited instructions and things that I, I want met for the article. And they always go above and beyond. I'm talking tables, citations, references, quality ones too. This isn't just thrown together. They genuinely are researching what I give them. As far as, you know, like you guys know, when you're paying for content, you can only hope that these writers are going to be researching authentically and looking up the correct information, citing the right sources. And Passion Post does it. They nail it. They knock it out of the park. And frankly, for the price of around five cents a word, I, I have to look at the numbers and see exactly what it is. Maybe five and a half cents a word. It's incredibly valuable the service they're giving for that for that dollar amount. Yes, I can get good writers for the two to three cent mark, 
and I have some that I use every day still to this day. But if you're looking to crank out some good staple posts and you're looking for some well-researched response posts, at five cents a word or five and a half cents a word, Passion Post is killing it. I think they're getting busy. I think they're getting a lot of traffic because maybe words getting out. I'm not sure, but the quality hasn't fallen off. I just went through about 35 articles I got back today. I spent over two grand or $2,400 last month on content from them. And I got all of it back and I was going through it this morning and posting articles, just trying to get caught up. And once again, they're still killing it. The content is great. I'm very happy with it. And so I'll leave a link down below, an affiliate link. If you use it, I appreciate it. But I think you'll be very happy with the quality you get back. All right, site number four, which is a food site that I started in May of this year. It has 38 articles. It got 463 visitors. And I just started this site in May. I don't, do, I don't run ads. There's no social media. That is strictly keyword research and traffic just organically starting to come in on a two or three month old site. So I'm happy with that. Basically, almost 500 page views on a brand new website that's less than 90 days old. I'll take it. All right, site number five is my wife's blog. Um, she kind of dabbles in this. She doesn't take it too seriously. We kind of put content on here and there. It's basically a diet and health type blog, YMYL. So it's going to be competitive. It's going to be more of a long, slow burn. We'll see how it goes. Six, seven months old. It only received, but it's only got seven articles. It's her, her site, 182 visitors, no monetization on it, no income. Then I have this website for below average blogger no monetization plans, nothing but just posting my income reports and some helpful info when I come across it. Um, which by the way, you can go to belowaverageblogger.com and check out detailed income reports with breakdowns, numbers, tables, everything. All right, I started two new sites over the last two months because I'm a psycho, I don't know. Site number seven, um, it's in the niche of, should I say it? Beekeeping, I'll say it, beekeeping. I did this niche because I have someone in my family, my father-in-law, my wife's father, who's a big bee farmer and he builds bee observation houses and he has hundreds of thousands of bees and hives on his farm in Georgia. And so getting content is easy. I get direct from the source answers. And so I'm able to put together some really good content. I did some keyword research and I found some really good opportunities in there. Um, and then site number eight, I started in August as well, which is a wine niche and that has um, as of today, it has six articles. The beekeeping website has two articles as of today and no traffic for those. They were started, you know, within the last 30 days. All right, what everybody came for, what everybody cares about, probably tired of me rambling. You probably fast forwarded to this point. Monetization and money. All right, site number one, the camping site. It made $51.89 on Ezoic ads. It made $29.65 on Amazon. Um, site number two, my dog specific breed website made $49 on Ezoic ads. It made $34.56 on Amazon. Um, site number three, my grilling website made $1,197.30 on Ezoic ads. So basically $1,200, $312.61 on Amazon and $158 on Affility, which is a smaller uh, affiliate network that handles these types of grills. So for the grand total of August, my number was $1,833.68. So what does that mean for profit and loss? I started doing expenses because somebody left a comment a few weeks ago and said, these income reports don't really matter if you don't include expenses. And at first I thought, well, I mean, my income is my income. But then I thought, you know what, that's a fair because there's money that goes into this business that you have to put in to, to make money back. And I think it's fair to share the expenses. Now I'm going to talk about expenses that I, I need to have and then expenses that I chose to have. There's a difference between expenses you need and expenses you want. So we'll talk about those. So for the month of August, 2021, my hosting cost me $2.95. It is on shared hosting. Well, I should say my hosting is split. My grilling website is still on wordpress.com because I paid for one full year in advance which is how wordpress.com works. It ends next month in November and it will be moved to a different host, probably DreamHost um, on, their, on their premium hosting. And I'll have them use their free transfer service for this website because it's my main moneymaker and I don't want to screw it up. But anyway, $2.95 for hosting. My other sites are on wordpress.com or hosted through Ezoic's hosting. If you haven't hosted through Ezoic, I'd say check it out. It's free. It's fairly easy to transfer your sites to Ezoic's hosting. And so far, no speed or issues with the hosting. So, you know, try it at your own risk. But so far, I have three sites on Ezoic's hosting. All are going well. All right, my theme, I broke it down for the 12 months. So for the basically per month, my theme cost me $4.91 per month, um, which is Akabato for the lifetime license. Link Whisper, $5.75 a month. 
Amalinks Pro on three sites, which is $10 a month. Ezoic Premium, $220. So basically, if you get into Ezoic and you're doing decent numbers, you'll be invited to Ezoic Premium, which is a an increased premium dollar amount on top of your already made earnings. And so it costs me $220 per month to be on Ezoic Premium. But the flip side of that is I always get back between three, four, four fifty back. So every month of the year, every day of the week, I will bet twenty, two hundred twenty dollars to always make back four hundred. And it continues to do it like clockwork, so I'll always pay the two twenty. All right, I spent one hundred and forty-three dollars on iRider.com for my two riders there. Um, I've tried to take them off iRider and say, hey, let's do this, you know, offline, and that way I could pay them direct, maybe save a couple bucks, or they could make a couple more, just make it easier. They won't come off the platform, which I understand. They don't know me, and they have consistent work on iRider. Nonetheless, I went back to them. Um, $143 I spent on content. And then in August, I spent $427.50 on content from Passion Posts. So my total expenses for August were $814. Um, so let's back up a second. My optional expenses for this month were iWriter and Passion Posts. Basically content. Do I have to pay for content? No. Do I choose to pay for content? Yes. So my net profit for August was $1,019.32. All right. Now I'm going to go into September, make it real quick here. All right. So interesting numbers for September. Um, they did decrease from August in some websites and they are on some sites and then they did go up in others. And I'll go through those now. Site number one, my main, uh, my first website in the camping niche started June, 2020, 135 articles. Traffic was 3,392. That was down 138 page views from last month. Site number two, the dog specific pet breed, um, 49 articles as of last month. The traffic it received was 5,603, which is up substantially. Um, again, and this site just continues to grow. And as even this month, it's still growing. So it's doing well. The 30 articles that have had time to mature, and I have already doubled that since then. And I have another probably 30 to, to post that I got back from Passion Posts. So this website I'm excited for next year to see how it's going. We'll be over 100 here real soon, and we'll see how this does next year. Um, the grilling website saw 43,173, which is a decrease of 1,423. So very small decreases on the grilling website. Still over 40,000 page views, still making good money. Um, site number four, which is the food blog, and that is 38 articles. It was only made three months ago, and it has 396 page views. That's down 74 page views from last month, which I'm not sure if that's maybe newer articles being tested by Google and that testing is over and now they're into a, you know, a maturing phase and they drop back down in the SERPs. But nonetheless, 400 page views for a brand new site. I'm good with it. Site number five, my wife's um, blog, 242 page views, which was up 60. Um, it only has seven articles. She's, she's not in a hurry to build this thing and it's just one of those ones I keep on the back burner and we kind of watch as it grows. Um, site number six is my belowaveragebloggercom um, No monetization, not worried about page views. It's just kind of a resource where you can go to belowaveragebloggercom and check out my detailed income reports if you want to really break down these numbers, along with screenshots and P&Ls and everything. Site number seven, that's the beekeeping website I told you about that I built in August. Um, it has five articles right now. Um, no monetization, obviously it's brand new. And then site number eight is another new site. And it has, I think, six articles as well. Too new to care about right now. I'm just in a slow building phase on those as well. All right. Money for the month of September 2021. Site number one, the camping website, made $56.88 $56 on Ezoic, $53.33 on Amazon, $38.64 on Avant Link. Site number two, made $103, uh, site number two is my dog specific breed. It made $103 on Ezoic, $66 on Amazon. Site number three is the grilling website. It made $1,070 on Ezoic ads, $302 on Amazon and $81 on uh, Avant link. No monetization for the belowaveragebloggercom and the two new uh, beekeeping and wine. There's nothing there. All right, so totals for the month of September 2021 was $1,772.67. All right, expenses for September 2021. We had hosting at $2.95, theme at $4.91, which is Akabato's lifetime license, Link Whisper, $5.75, Amalinks Pro, $10, Ezoic Premium, $220. All right, this is where the big chunk of money is. 
on iWriter.com, I spent $421.25. That includes tips to the writers because I have two. They're very good, and I always make sure I tip them just to keep them on, you know, me on their good side. And then Passion Post, I did an order for $2,070. So for Passion Post, this was actually a 20, maybe $2,400, $2,300, But Jeff from Passive Income Unlocked actually gave his affiliate discount code on one of his videos recently. I used it. It literally saved me like $300 on a fairly large order. So I will put a link down below to Passion Posts. And if you haven't checked out Passive Income Unlocked and Jeff and his, I, I apologize, I forget his name, Brent, Brad, I'm not sure, Brian, I, I apologize. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, Passive Income Unlocked, they have a good discount code for Passion Post. It's 10% and on a large order over two grand, it saved me a few hundred dollars, which is great. So jumping back, my total profit was, or excuse me, my total income was $1,772. My total expenses were $2,667, but that's because I chose to spend a lot on content. This is a investment in the business at this point. This is not about making money. I don't care about making money from any of these sites right now. I don't withdraw money hardly at all. Almost everything I make goes back into this business. So basically my net profit for, uh, for September, 2021 was negative $895, but again, I made the choice to spend all of my income on content and put myself in the negative, which is an investment in the long term. So that's it, guys. That's everything. I apologize for being gone so long. August and September have still been great months. I'm still pushing that $2,000 mark per month. It's pretty much autopilot. I didn't have time to mess with the websites aside from just making sure everything was okay for the last two months, and they still just made money the last two months. I love this business model. It's enjoyable. I'm going to keep growing this. I plan to have a small army of uh, websites and, and just build up over the next few years hopefully content is still valuable over the next few years in google we will see you know with video and things kind of i'm not sure if we're in a transition where written content will always be king or always have a place but for now it does well it makes us money and i hope you guys are making money as well we will see you guys in the next one thanks so much for sticking around thanks so much for the subscribing and we will see you very soon for october's income report and it is down again you know seasonal niche grilling i'm seeing a decline um, but the money's still good. We're still, you know, we're still up in, in the upper 1000s, pushing 2000. So everything is fine, but there's still a decline. And I'll, I'll, as I'm talking, I'll, I'll probably throw in some screenshots of these, uh, analytics and search console. So you see it. All right, guys. So that's it. I hope you guys have a great day. I will see you guys very soon with the next income report and some other things I got in the pipe and talk to you later.